Hey guys, we got a fun video today taking part in an air compressor. It's pretty cool. Check out your pistons. Um, there's a little wear on this one on the main bearing. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, that one looks good. We got the uh, head and block off or whatever the heck you call it. But here's our problem. Out of nowhere, the air compressor just makes a, starts making a racket. The problem was the bearing. There's a little race that goes around this bearing, holds them together, boom. Well, that just fell right out. That's our noise. So check it out. We got our crankshaft and we can just spin it. And that bearing's making all that rattling. So at high speeds, it's really loud. I could hear it from the other room. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Um, we got our part number here. A six, 6205 crossed it on the uh, interchange and comes up to a, a transmission bearing. So they used a transmission bearing for this. So now I just got to get that crankshaft off. So to take this apart was about 10 minutes. Uh, first thing I took off was the air filter right here and uh, the top piece there. A couple of air lines go there. And then next came the block. The pistons were inside there. Boom, came straight up, just six bolts. And uh, yeah, that's how we got down to there. Took the pistons out, two bolts on each side, marked them so they go back into the same spot. We're gonna take our pulley puller, take this off, and then take this plate off. That's gonna allow us to extract our crankshaft. And we'll change these two bearings on each side. New gasket set, we'll cut our own gasket out of gasket maker instead of ordering a gasket set. And uh, yeah, should be brand new again. If I wanted to rebuild it, I'd probably get the rebuild kit. Um, I need my air compressor tomorrow. So we're gonna go to the parts store, get some make your own gasket, cut it, put some sealing on it, and uh, replace those bearings.